Disclaimer. This video's information is being provided for informational, educational, and general interest purposes only. The information in this video is not intended to shock, enrage, or otherwise provoke the viewer. The sole purpose of this video was to raise awareness of true crime-related events. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. Three people, including the boy's father, were sentenced in the death of 10-year-old Dakota Collins on September 30, 2021. Al-Mutahan McLean, 32, was given a 51-year-to-life sentence in prison on Wednesday morning after being found guilty of abusing and torturing Takoda before his death in 2019. He was informed of his fate when he appeared before Montgomery County Common Police Judge Dennis Adkins. Before being eligible for parole, he had to serve between 40 and 51 years in prison. The minimum sentence for Amanda Hinsey, 30, was 22 years in prison. Jennifer Ebert, her sister, received an eight-year prison term. The two women shared a house with McLean and Takoda. Takoda allegedly endured horrific living conditions, including beatings and being made to endure hours-long punishment poses while on his feet. Prosecutors claimed that if he didn't maintain the pose, he would be physically punished. They claimed Takoda, a student at Horace Mann Elementary before his father took him out of class, had experienced severe abuse. Takoda's death was ruled a homicide by the Montgomery County Coroner's Office, who determined that he passed away from a combination of blunt force trauma, compressive asphyxia, and drowning in a bathtub of water. Prosecutors claimed in a sentencing memo submitted prior to the hearing that Takoda was punched, elbowed, and stood on in the hours before his death. The memorandum reads, Defendant McLean threw the child around some more, grabbed him by the ears, and dragged him down the steps, still not satisfied that Takoda was sufficiently compliant. When Takoda failed to clean his shorts quickly enough again, the defendant took him into the bathroom and warned him that he would drown if he did not hurry up. Defendant Jennifer Ebert then heard splashing and Takoda gasping for air from the living room. In their memorandum, the defense claimed that although McLean admitted guilt in the death of his son, he had not abused the boy in years. The statement in the document reads, Al, without reservation accepts that his actions caused the death of his son. He neither excuses himself nor assigns blame to anyone else. However, he expresses worry about the stories that are being told about him by others that either demonize him based on a false history or recreate their own false history of involvement with his son. The memo notes that Takoda was exceptionally intelligent. He was a voracious reader and a great artist. He would tell his father information that Al was unaware of. Together, the two would rap, and Takoda was the best at coming up with or finishing lyrics. Despite all of their issues, flaws, and misguided bad behavior, they were still a family. This is tragic for the entire Takoda family, including his father, as well as for Takoda alone. Okay. All right. Jennifer, you can come back and have a seat right there. Have a seat where you're at or?
Don't kill her. I'm... Don't kill her. She can be a bitch. She can be a bitch. She can be a bitch. So I just go on. I don't change my mind. I go down. Okay. Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Tell me, tell me what's what this is. Okay. Well, I moved down here three years ago, okay. and well, well, I really moved down here because I had to take care of the boys. And that was the whole deal that I take care of the house and the boys and he would buy my dog dog food or whatever, clean the house and do all that. So um uh, okay. Okay. Hey, okay, let me take a breath. And then Hey Jennifer. I'm sorry, just really quick. I just wanna remind you of the paper that we went over to make sure that you remember everything we went over before. Yeah, I okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell everything. I guess I'm gonna go to the hospital talk because I'm not going down for this no more. Okay. They always say that if everything, anything happens, we're all going down. Well, I'm not going down as much as I thought. I'm tired. Somebody told you you all were going down for it? Who? Amanda. Amanda told you you all were gonna go down for it? Okay. So, let's. You moved down here three years ago to watch the boys, okay? The understanding was they're going to buy dog food for your dog and obviously yeah. take care of you, yeah, right? Yeah, take care of me and my dog. But, um, oh, I can't do this. I hope just... Can you give me a second? Just yeah. Take your time. But he was in that room and downstairs. And then he was misbehaving because he was... Pooping everywhere. He could choose the bathroom any time, whatever, you know, like a normal child. But he would refuse to use the bathroom and use it on himself every night and everything. And so then he started, first he started spanking him, doing, putting him in the corner. Then it escalated from there. And then he moved him to the basement and that spare room that we got down there. And then he kept on doing the same thing. But and stuff like that, and then he would start doing a little more punching him and just kicking him and stuff like that. And then, and then he moved him to where I was because I was still upstairs at the time. And then he would still do the same thing. And then he would start still punching him, kicking him, elbowing him in the gut, smacking him across the head and everything. And then he recently started using a taser on him. And then he would, then we got this metal spatula down or whatever that he used to beat him with it. And then this morning, he, I called him down for breakfast. He wouldn't come. He, I called him down, kept on calling him down. Finally, he came down, and then I woke up Al, and he was sitting, thought I was sitting on the toilet, and he elbowed him in the back, and then he fell to the floor, and Take your time. Started on him, and then he threw him in the bathtub, and it sounded like he was drowning him. 
So he was talk- talking to him and telling him he was going to drown him. And it sounded like that because all I heard was splashing because he wouldn't clean his shorts because he came down wet over this morning. And he took him back upstairs and threw him out. Then he made him lay on his stomach, hands behind the back, and he stepped on him. And then he made him lay in the bed, and he was laying on his side, and then he was at the back of him. I don't know if he was doing that there, I couldn't see. And then, and then he threw him back off the bed, drug him a little bit, up from, and then, I know. <laughs> I was going on for 30 years, I should have done something. Even longer. Since he was little. That's the first cast I'm going to listen. But all I know is that Amanda never laid any hands on him. I mean, she would spank him and just tell him not to do things, tell him to do things, but he would never listen. So we both told Al that he, that he wouldn't listen and then Al would go be on it. When you said he tased him, he had like a physical taser or like a... Yeah, a little pink one. A little pink taser. And then there's a metal spatula that he used to hit him with. You said that he had him on... He was behind him today, right? Were Dakota's hands tied or? Okay. Did you see? Was he? I don't know what was was going on. I was in the middle of reading and watching Joe while he was playing. So I wasn't really doing much paying attention to what was going on. What was Dakota doing? Was he crying, screaming? Not at first. Well, at first he was, but when I was over, he was quiet. And then when they woke up about 1 o'clock, not because he went back to bed around 10, and then they woke up, and, he, and then they laid me on the couch, and I went back to bed for a while because I was tired. And then I got woken up by Amanda crying and freaking out. And then we, that's when we left. Because Dakota wasn't breathing. There was part of like a stool or something. What was going on with that? He would make him sit on it with his legs wide open because I don't know the whole reason. He yeah. would sit on it when it was part of the chair? Or yeah, when it was all the way together. Because he wouldn't stand still with his legs crossed, hands behind his head. He just, and then he brought that home one day and made him sit on it. Like but, with the legs up? No, he was sat on the top of it. Did you see Al with this, like, one of the legs today? He hid it behind the dresser in the living room. A part of it, and then the other one was in the sink in the bathroom. What was he doing with it? But Dad, I don't know. I can tell you that one. I don't know what he was doing with that. So you said that like after this was going on, he went back to bed. Who went back to bed? Al, because he made because he made Toto go back to bed on um, lay back on his bed and not make a word or sound. And then I just figured he was sleeping the way he was just.
What bed was he laying on? That's a cat. A cat. Looking thing. I don't know what they did with that. Where was where was that at? It was all upstairs. A cat thing? Yeah, like a big green cat. Cot. Yeah, like a bed. Like yeah. Oh, cot. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So. <laughs> Wisconsin coming out, then, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I just wasn't following. Okay, so the cot, um, it was green. Yeah. Okay, so once um, Amanda obviously was upset, and then you guys left and went to the store. Okay. And Al stayed there. Yeah, because I'm not, cause right after we left, he called the cop. She told him to call. So I wasn't breathing or making funny noises or whatever. I was half asleep when we left it and know what was going on. So I was just, I left with no sweater and no shoes or anything. I just picked up Joe and we left. Did you go to those three places that you told her she went to? Yes. Do you know what she wanted to talk to her friend at Walgreens about? I think just to get advice about what to do, but she didn't. All her friend said was don't run because I'd look bad. Because she didn't tell her exactly what was going on. So, you know, that's what I was about. so that's when you guys kind of went back home? And we drove around the neighborhood a little bit to see what was going on, if she got the cops were still there. And then finally she just gave up and went home. So the, the, the leg to the stool, you know what I'm talking about? You never saw him use that on Josiah? No, I didn't, no. Never got that child never got beat or anything, just got some spankings when you won't listen, but... I didn't mean just I'm sorry, I meant Dakota. Oh. I'm sorry. It's fine, but I just said, yeah. yeah. But no, that's one thing I never see in the news. He usually, you know, just use that spatula, his fists, his feet, or everything that... There's anything that he can see. Did he, like, drag him up or down the steps or anything like that? I know this morning he was wobbling like crazy when he was coming down the stairs. So I told him, I didn't know what was going on. I told him to walk look normal, you know. And so then he was walking, like rubbing up on things. And I woke up Al, so that's why I said Al got in the head, so I would beat on him. But, um, he I'm not 100% sure. I'm, he was having troubles walking, so I know I think I've seen him on the camera grabbing his ear and dragging him, but I don't 100% sure on that one. On the camera? Yeah. So there was a camera on the camera upstairs? Yeah. They kept a camera up there, but while he was in the attic? Yeah. To watch him. Is that stuff recorded? What is it live? So you can only watch why it's going on, and that's how you saw him stand on him and put him on his stomach and all that. Okay. So he did pretty much stay up in the attic, though. Did he get locked in that room a lot? Yes? The only time he came down was just the little bathroom. Good. And shower once in a while. I just feel better. 
missed you, bud, honey. No, you said I would feel better, but I thought I thought you feel worse. You will on the line. Hang on right there. Be right back. Okay, sorry, man. It looks like he had like something carved in him. Did he like ever cut him with something? Not that I know of no. Okay. Um and at, at any point did you know of him to harm himself? Yeah. Well, I know he did jump out a window from up there. But that's the only thing you know of? As far as I know, yeah. Okay. Um, had you ever heard any rumors about him sexually assaulting, Al sexually assaulting him? He will not do that. Mm. No. No. That, um, I don't know about that one. Why was he so, why was he that way with him? Like, I mean, I can see that there's no pictures in there. You know, there's no pictures, no nothing. Like, he just didn't even exist. I don't know. You don't know. Did he ever threaten you? Did Al ever threaten you? Mm-hmm. 
So let me ask you, why did you never call the police or anything about it? I don't know really. I wanted to steal me his arms. But then he would just tell us to make a team come up with some stupid story when, when, um, if we ever did, he would just say, oh, I'll just say this and that, and I don't know, he was just... He just make excuses. I mean, does he drink? Is it when he drinks, or is he just an angry person? Both. Does it get worse if he drinks? Oh, I know. Really? Does he drink a lot? Really? Is that what he does all day? He would usually go out when about, I'd say about 2, 3 in the afternoon, sometimes 4, and I'll come home about 2, 3 in the morning. Does he ever abuse your sister? He used to when they lived in Wisconsin, but now he just throws things at the floor and punches walls. Or takes it out on Dakota. That too. So Dakota pees the bed, is that kind of what, what his the problem is with him? Yeah, but really, and like, oh my, he, I noticed last maybe week or so he didn't go poop in the pups. I'm told to watch him because he likes to rub poop everywhere. So I kind of just peek in and see what he's doing. You know, not trying to gross or anything, but and then I noticed that he doesn't poop in the toilet. And so I told Al about that. So he asked him, and I guess one night he was pooping upstairs and he ate it. So I. I don't know what was to deal with all that. Like he would have gotten in trouble if he had if there was, with it? Yeah, he would be. So he ate it? Yeah. How do you know he ate it? You saw him? I guess that's what they said. What he said. What Dakota said, I should say. Like Dakota he eats he it. it. Yeah. Because one day he was skinny, I should say. And then the next day his stomach was fat. Like, I didn't know what was going on, I just thought that he just gained weight overnight, just, you know. <laughs> so, I guess I could have got him food, really good food, so. Did he actually eat, though? Like, yeah, because there was no, what's that? Did he come down and eat with you guys? No, we gave him some bowls and a bowl and sent out upstairs. You had to stay upstairs and eat? Yeah. What did he eat? No, he... Usually what we eat, like pizza and macaroni and cheese and everything, like, but, you know, so this morning I gave him bagels and peanut butter. Yeah. And usually, and then lately I've been just giving him, everything that Joe eats is what I give him. He's just really thin. Doesn't he seem kind of thin to you? Yeah. Why is he so thin? I don't know. I feed him three times a day, sometimes four. Does he eat, or does he just he does. give him food? Yeah, he eats it. Are you giving him, like, smaller portions, or are you giving him, like, portions you give to Josiah? No, I gave him a full bowl full, like, a lot of food. So I don't know what's all going on with that. Are you the one responsible for feeding him for all the meals? Yeah. Okay. So when you go up and feed him, is he back in that locked area then? No, he's just, when you just go upstairs, he's right next to the railing. Okay. So he was in that area. Was the other area locked off, or? Yeah, because that's the window he, in the area. He was in there before, but that's when he jumped out the window, and plus the ceiling was all falling down and everything. You gotta get that fixed. That's where he jumped out the window up there? Yeah, that's why it's boarded up up there. And that's probably because he was being kept up there? Yeah, that too. Huh. Okay. So, I, I know that I kind of missed part, so I just want to make sure that I understand everything, and I apologize if I'm repeating stuff. But So Al got pissed off this morning because 
um, Dakota woke him up by walking into things. Well, yeah, you know, falling down into the bathroom door and all of that. Too. Okay. So did did Dakota take a beating last night? Is that why he was so disoriented today? He could have, but I went to bed early because I had to get up early. So I'm usually up about, I would say, about quarter to seven to the boys. Blaze, I'm sorry. Did that to, to the boys, okay. To the boys, okay. The boys, okay. Yeah, to the boys, they care of them, and then go outside, take care of the dogs. I just kind of handle. Yes, ma'am, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to quit. Yeah, just okay. basically do everything well. You go to someone drinks, and she works. Okay. So you don't have PDAT? No, because I sleep with headphones on and a uh, face mask, whatever, up in me. Do you do that so you don't hear the they screaming? Screaming? Um, it's just peaceful because I don't have a fan on back there and everything. It's just my door closed. I just don't hear anything. Really. Okay. See, it's fair to say maybe he did, maybe he didn't last night. Mm-hmm. Okay. But he did beat on every day. Pretty much. Okay. And it's unusual when you don't. Okay. And um, you did you ever try to take him to the doctor or get him medical help or anything? No. Can you explain that to me a little bit? I don't know how to... Yeah, I tried, but he would come up with an excuse saying Dakota is crazy and he does self-harm and everything, so he just comes up with an excuse that it's all for so. Okay. So, um, and one of the pictures, it looks like there was like a T like carved into his side. Did we talk about that? Yeah, she doesn't really know anything about how that happened. Um, so he was coming down this morning. Does he normally come down in the morning to use the bathroom? Yeah, I got him down when, about six times a day. And then done the 11 o'clock at night is when I usually go to bed. The last night. So basically, he goes up there and then he's locked up there, right? Unless he's let out. Yeah. And so, Amanda knew that he wasn't breathing when you guys left today. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I guess. Okay. That's why she. Yeah. That's why she told her to call the cops. Okay. Does her cell phone have a passcode on it? Yeah, but I don't know what it is. Do they keep the phones from you? Yeah, I'm not allowed to have a phone. The internet or phone or whatever. Why is that? You're a grown-ass woman. <laughs> right. Because apparently I tell too many secrets. <laughs> is that what they say? So much, but I can't keep my mouth shut. So you don't let you talk to anybody? And that's why you haven't talked to your mom? Not do you know your mom's phone number? No. Hey, I have a question. There was like a dog leash or something hanging in the living room. Oh, that's Joe's toy. Because he um, has a box exit. Uh-huh. And we hang, hang it from the and he likes to punch on it. And that's why that's so We took it down, but I guess we forgot to take the leash down. Um, is there any reason at all that the Josiah would be considered a missing person? No. No. Al didn't take him? No. His mom gave him to him. Because apparently she used to crutch it. Are you for sure about that or is that just That's what, what you've been they told? That's what they all been told. Because yeah. you weren't around when that happened, were you? Yeah, it came down three years ago. And he is three years old? Yeah. And we had him a couple of years now or so. But he was a baby baby, right? Probably a year and a half, maybe. When you got him? When they got him? Yeah. So, were you here when they got him? Or did you come after? No, I was here. Okay. Did, how, did, how did that go down? I... I don't know the full story on that one. I mean, she kept a lot from me about that one. So, so I'll just be honest. I mean, he Dakota had some pretty bad 
injuries to his anus area. I don't know nothing about that one. I'm <laughs> well, he just heard of that now. <laughs> when he's telling him to bend over and cross yeah. his legs, what do you think he was doing? I don't He would always pour hot sauce on his butt and then he it like that. And tell him and stuff like that. You said what? I'm sorry. <laughs> like instead in hot sauce and salt and everything. And yeah. He would go because Toto would be laying on the floor. His Backside would be to the railing area, and then Al would go upstairs and just like dump the hot sauce all over him on the floor or something. I can burn his voice says. Did Amanda ever do anything to stop this? No. Explain to me Amanda's part and what when this is going on. Half time, and I'll be at work lately when he does it. I do it as soon as she walks out the door. But before, when she was there, I mean, I, it's evident that she was aware that it was going on. Yeah. And she, she told him to stop. She, she's been telling him to stop because he's been taking too, had too much going on with his body and just let him do what he wants and stuff like that. I don't know that for sure. But, yeah. Did she ever try and stop Al? None of us have. Why not? I would only let, I don't know, I, I don't know. I mean, these are just questions that I have to ask. I know, I know that there's, I mean, was there a fear factor or? For me, I know it was. I'm terrified of him. <laughs> he gets angry too easy. What happened to your wrist, hon? Did you do that? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I saw done it. So I was in like sixth grade. But you didn't know Dakota to ever self harm? Mm -hmm. No. Doesn't really seem like he had anything he could self harm with. I mean, he was locked up in that attic most of the time. There was a hole in the drywall, and it looked like something had been scratching it up there. No, <laughs> yeah, we. Had a dog up there for a while. Okay, so the dog did that? Yeah. Give us a minute. Do you need anything? Okay. Give us just a minute. Um. Okay, 
hang out here. You doing okay? This water's not open. You want some more water?
Jennifer. Yes. Where are you going tonight? Are you going back home? No. Do you want to go to a shelter? No, I'm not going back home. Do you have a key? Yeah, I'm not going to Okay. So you want the keys from Amanda? I don't know how I'm going to get there. I can't drive. We'll make sure you get there. We'll get you there. <laughs> we got that taken care of. Um, after, sorry, go ahead. After today, after tonight, what are your plans? Are you staying here? Or are you going back to Wisconsin? Hoping to go back home. Back home? Where is home? I mean, I know Wisconsin's home, but do you have an address? No, it's on my head, no. Are you, um, how will we stay in touch with you? Because I don't know. Will you stay in touch with us? Yeah. Do you know your mom's phone number? It's on Amanda's phone. That's right, I asked you that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you have any siblings or anything that you know their numbers that we could get in touch with you through? The only way to get a hold of them is through Facebook. Do you have a Facebook account? How long ago did Khalil leave? A couple, of, oh, a few years back, I think shortly after I got there. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a Facebook account? Yeah. Who are, what's your name on Facebook? Um, it's I can hold him to get fall him. So that's my account can this is my password, so So it's Jenny underscore your last name underscore 12 at hotmail.com and then class of 2012 or class of 12. Yeah. And you're giving us permission to get into your Facebook to contact your family. Yeah. Okay. What's your Facebook name though? Um, Just my name, Jennifer Ebert. But Jennifer Ebert. yeah, and it has a picture of my dog. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's going to happen with my dog? You know it's not important to them. Like, no, it's important. We know it's important to you. We're going to take you back to your house, um, the house in Kensington. Yeah. But, um, I mean, from there, I guess we can attempt to contact your family. You don't have any phones or any way to contact people? There's no house phone or anything there? Well, I do, I do got a cell phone, but they took the internet away from me, so... I don't know what the internet password is. <laughs> what did you do to get in trouble? I told a friend that I was going to run away because I was getting tired of everything that was going on. What friend? I don't remember. Do you have any friends around here? Not around here, no. So, somebody from Wisconsin? Yeah. Do you get, do you, your face looks bruised to me. Is it bruised? In the cheeks? No, it's just like your head.
And all the girls is probably from the dog because we were house. Because one day I was his, her balls under the couch and I was bent over to get her and I was her head and I was slammed in the mind. So, mm-hmm. and I hurt like hell. Since that dog is mean, is she going to get put down? What dog? Your dog? The white one. I got to. She's mean? Like mean to people? As far as I know, yeah. Why? Has she been abused too? No. No. Because when the, her and her, because we got like three puppies from the same litter, and she got jealous because at home was spending too much time with his dog, and so she became her mean one and all of the group. <laughs> she became jealous, I guess. <laughs> Because he wouldn't take her out, and then when she got run over by the neighbor, when Alice dog got run over by the neighbor, she became aggressive towards strangers. Hmm. I do want that dog mainly back. I don't care about this, I just want the dog back. You can contact the animal shelter. Yeah, you can I'm going to make sure you have my contact information too, okay? okay. And we can figure out how to work through a lot of this stuff. 